This is for y'all, you naysayers. Marilyn Mosby need to go to jail. Marilyn Mosby been shielding the corruption in the Democratic Party since 2014. You contact Marilyn Mosby, Kevin Bilal, her husband, Hassan Giordano. I ran against Governor Hogan in 2014. I've been making a documentary about y'all's politics since 2006. Dwayne G. Davis, state's attorney's office. You feel me? That's Marilyn Mosby. All right. That's July of 2021. So go to Marilyn Mosby's office and get this information. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. He got this in. Yeah. You see when he got this? That's Mayor Brandon Scott. That's President Biden. He got it. That's Chief Justice Mary Barbera. Taos, I mean, uh, Annapolis, Maryland. They received this. That's Delegate Sheila Roof. She's my witness. She's going to testify on my behalf. That's the Public Justice Center. They didn't have this for the longest. You feel me? And that's Brian Frosch. And he didn't have it since 2016. <clears throat> that's Governor Hogan. He didn't have it since 2014. Talking about voter suppression. We talking about the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Y'all got the haves versus the have-nots, and y'all talking about Martin Luther King. Governor Hogan was talking about he dedicated something to Martin Luther King today. Man, that's blasphemy. You should never say Martin Luther King out your mouth. That toilet represents how you treat the underclass. You treat us like shit. Right there. Commode emotion. This is the Baltimore County Executive. All right? That's the Baltimore County Executive, and that's in 2019. That's asking for a federal investigation in the Baltimore City Courts. In 2019, that's Baltimore City Council, Baltimore, the mayor's office, Baltimore City delegation, and Police Commissioner Harrison and Marilyn Mosby. That's Marilyn Mosby. She had this. And y'all can read, right? As an officer of the court, Marilyn Mosby had this. Whoever having knowledge of an actual commission of a felony, cognizable by a court. A judge and other persons in civil or military authority under the United States shall be fined. And hey, all right, you see that? And in prison for more than three years. That's Marilyn Mosby. That's Judge Cox. And this is 2017. We're talking about a grand jury request. And this is the case right here. Marilyn Mosby got this. The Department of Justice got this. And it's about Scott Schellenberger. The same way that you're going after Marilyn Mosby, you got to go after Scott Schellenberger. That's me. All right? That's Scott Schellenberger. That's page one of four. That's two of four. On February the 2nd, 2011, at 8.52, I blew the whistle on Governor O'Malley and 52 members of the mom machine. Marilyn Mosby was part of that mom machine. Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby, Bilal, Congressman Cummings. You got 52 members of the Democratic Party that participated in it. Now she crying foul. All right. She wanted to protect white supremacy. Well, here goes the date. That's three or four. You took a computer, 13 movies, an external hard drive, a jailhouse diary, and 238 master copies. Marilyn Mosby participated in that. All right. You see that? And that's files right there. 2020. That's me right there. You want to protect white supremacy in the Democratic Party? Well, if Marilyn Mosby goes snitch, she need to snitch on Governor O'Malley. Like I said, that's Thomas Saunders. I fired my lawyer and defended myself. I was incarcerated. The same way that y'all doing Marilyn Mosby, you did to me. Except I won my case. I beat you. Contact Mr. O'Neill. That's the jailhouse diary. Adam May, WJZ, Rob Fix. Yeah. Ask for the material from Martha Mossberg. Yeah, Martha Mossberg. See that? That's P.O. Box 38. United States Department of Justice. Eric Barron, Patrick Gerald, Rod Rosenstein, Alan Locks. We want a federal investigation about the Department of Justice. Tampering with legal mail is a federal offense. Sent from a correctional facility. You feel me? Baltimore FBI, Richard McFeely, Ambassador Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Legal mail, tampering is a federal offense. 
And that's me. Found a member of the Baltimore block. In the same way that y'all doing Mosby, Mosby need to go to jail. She been holding Keith Davis for, for the longest. Getting ready to go to the sixth trial. I'm the founding member of the Baltimore block. I'm an activist. This is a jailhouse diary from 2007. See that? P.O. Box 38. Dear Mr. Davis, thank you for your correspondence to the Chicago office. Y'all supposed to have an investigation. Marilyn Mosby never did it. You feel me? Jailhouse Diary 2007. That's President Obama. That's me at 1402 Lochner. Political prisoner N62528 Shorty. Treatment of the inmates. You feel me? And that's the Department of Justice, Eric Holder. And that's your state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby, same thing that you did to me, they getting ready to do to you. The only difference is you can't defend yourself. You ain't got a leg to stand on. You feel me? I'm a whistleblower. And you had a whistleblower's complaint and didn't do nothing with it. You've been having that whistleblower's complaint since July. Long before they was talking about locking you up. I got my green cards. I got my paperwork. That's the Fender's application for interstate compact. You feel me? 1402 Lochner. That's the property you stole from me in 2008. That's Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. This is a follow-up letter. All right? It says whistleblower's complaint. Whistleblower's complaint. That's a whistleblower's complaint to the Baltimore State's Attorney's Office. And you refuse to address it. So Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby, Mayor Brandon Scott, Cheryl Middleton. Mayor Dixon called y'all the dirty dozen on December the 10th when Councilman Welch retired and called it nepotism because she gave her seat to her son. So the branches, the Corey McCrays, this nepotism in Baltimore, this corruption, this inbred politics. Y'all want to defend Marilyn Mosby? Go ahead. But Marilyn Mosby got to deal with this one too. I'm a whistleblower. You normally locked up a whistleblower. I'm a nonprofit. I'm a businessman. And you locked up a businessman. I was kidnapped by the state. And Marilyn Mosby been silent. And I did it on Martin Luther King's birthday. Racism don't work without black cooperation. We talking about the haves and the have-nots. Now the haves is rallying around. And they think the have-nots is going to help. No. I'm going to help you go to jail. Marilyn Mosby, take my grand jury investigation, because I asked for the grand jury the same way that you did. My testimony for the grand jury is re ready and righteous. Go to jail. Do not pass gold. Do not collect that $200. If I can't get the grand jury, you're not going to get the grand jury. I don't get no justice. You're not going to get no peace. Marilyn Mosby need to go to jail. Marilyn Mosby, Nick Mosby. Got 52 members of the Democratic Party. Delegate Stephanie Smith, you got my whistleblower's application. You got to act on that information. You're a lawyer. You're also a representative of the city of Baltimore. You was included in this. Either you do your job or you be a part of the, the corruption. Delegate Lewis, you got this. Eric Barron, you got this. President Biden, you got this. Brian Frost, you got this. Governor Hogan, you got this. I don't get no freedom. Like I said, book, movie, lawsuit. We go to the Supreme Court with this. A writ of sociority, Article 3 of the Constitution. Public Accommodations, the 1964 Public Accommodations Act. Martin Luther King passed that. Y'all want to talk about Martin Luther King? Let's talk about what he stood for. I applied for his job. I've been doing it very well. So Marilyn Mosby, do your job. Do your job or lose your job. Matter of fact, go to jail.